everyone, my name is Audrey. Welcome back to my channel. We're doing another Korean drama review. Sorry about the glare that's on my glasses. Um, I'm filming right in front of a window, so somehow it's like picking it up. Um, yeah, so today we're doing another Korean drama review. Today we're going to be reviewing The Secret Life of My Secretary, also known as Choi Myone Saranghamnita. So, um, if you're new to my channel and you haven't watched any of my Korean drama reviews, usually what I like to do, I go over the main actors and supporting, um, well, main actors or actresses and supporting cast. Um, usually I get the information from Vicky, so if I miss anything, that is, um, that's the reason why I don't miss anything, so I just usually just go with Vicky because that's where I watch it on. Then usually I give a summary of what the drama is about, and then I also list triggers and pretty much what triggers are are basically um, events that happen in the drama that may remind you of any traumatizing event that you have went through in life because everybody goes through things differently and I prefer to tell you guys about those things that you may encounter when watching the drama then um then you not knowing at all so I rather help you than not having you be prepared then I usually give a rating of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, 1 being the lowest, like it's not great. And then I close it out and that is it. So, in other words, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, like usual, I have my laptop with me. Anyways, let's go ahead and start with the main cast. There's a lot of people within this, so this is pretty long. So for the first main actor, we have Kim Yong Kwang. Um, he has played in a lot of dramas. He's also a model. So a few um, probably seen him in quite other famous dramas. I can't really think of him right now. Um, today has been a long day for me, so I can't really think of any. So sorry about that. Next, you have uh, Jin Ki Ju. Um, she, I call her the multi-talented person because she has, um, has a degree, I think, in, like, engineering, and she has been a news reporter, she has played in a lot of also well-known dramas, and so she's a really good actor, and she, I consider her, um, as a person who's really good at romantic comedies also, so, um, she's a really good actor. Uh, next we have Kim Jae-kyung. Um, I'm not really familiar with her work. If I have seen her work, I technically just don't remember at the moment. Sorry. Um, but her character is hilarious. And, like, you're you're going to love her character because it's just good. It's just really good. I love her character. And then you have um, Gu Jia Song. And I'm also not familiar with any work that he has done either. So those are your four main cast members. Now, let's get to the long list of supporting cast. <laughs> I didn't realize how long the list was until I looked at it and I was like, oh, it's a lot of people. I'm just gonna take a while to edit. <laughs> so, um, first we have Jung A. Lee. She's a well known actor, also actress, I should say. Um, so, she plays in a lot of works. Usually, she plays usually the mother or the, um, usually a table, usually <laughs> in traumas. So, She's um, a quite familiar face. Um, you also have Kim Min Sung, Kim Byung Chun, Peck Hyun Ju, So Dong Won, Kim Ji Min, Jung So Yun. Tae Hwan, Han Ji Sun, Son San, Choi Yoon Ran, Choi Yoon Ran, my bad, sorry, uh, Kwan So Hyun, Cho Che Rong, Song Jin Woo, Lee Sung Hyung, 
Kwon Hyun Sook, and lastly, Kim Hee Jung. So those are all of your um, actors and actresses um, and cast members within this drama. There's probably more, but that's what is listed on Vicky at the moment. Um, so what is this drama about? So, by the title, Secret Life of My Secretary, so obviously it's going to be about the life of a, the secretary in this drama. <laughs> so, um, so this drama about a girl, um, she actually been through a lot her, in her life. Um, her family, they were pretty well off, but I'm not going to say like they're chubbles, but like they're kind of like your average middle class, middle class family. And so... Um, she lost both of her parents when she was younger and you're going to see a little bit of that in the beginning um so um she's a secretary for this company and so with that being said she's a secretary of for this company she her job is temporary and i don't know what's with me reviewing dramas with people's jobs being temporary so um her job is temporary so basically her her contract is like at the end of her um appointment for her job um the company may consider her to be permanent and um she actually ends up being fired sorry that's a spoiler um but something ends up happening to her um boss and happens in an accident he gets hurt somehow and um to the point where now she's reinstated back as the secretary but she's also doing a lot of things to help him make sure that he stays in his position um, that's all I'm saying about his character, truly and honestly, because like it's really hard not to give any spoilers about his character or her character. Um, and so, so it's pretty much about like about their life of like all the craziness that they go to. And well, actually, I'm gonna say more about the character, and that's Jinji Ku. Jinji Ku? That's not right. Jin Jin Ki Ju. Okay. <laughs> So about her character, so uh, she actually goes through quite a bit of things and she ends up being entangled in all these situations like she was fired and now she's like working for her boss and she like ends up actually not liking her boss in the beginning and ends up liking him later on because somehow they end up being into a like, romantic relationship towards, towards the end. But then she also was working for this one boss that she had. Um, as one of her jobs and that one boss she had ends up coming back into her life and then she's entangled up into some situation with her old boss with her new boss and it comes like this basically like what is running the drama is that situation so and you know it's really crazy because it's like you're just sitting there like oh my gosh like when is her new boss gonna find out the truth about what's going on so i'm just gonna let you figure that out with your imagination or you can just watch the drama to find out um so it's usually a lot of that and so i'm gonna go ahead and just get into triggers because there's a lot actually i think there might be a lot if i remember correctly so the first one is obviously if you have lost a family member at a young age or if you just lost a family member in general anytime soon um just be aware that it's brought up quite a few times within drama especially like in the beginning and towards the middle and the end um um because at times she has these flashbacks of like her mom or not really flashbacks well yeah she has flashbacks and then she also has like these moments where she's like talking to her mother in like spirit form um that's the best way i can explain that and so also if you've ever been into type of like violence um her like uh violent attack or anything um that caused you to have like any brain damage or anything on that story that seems like a bit of a stretch I know but like I'm just saying like anything that you were in some violent thing where you had to you got cut or you were trying to defend yourself and you almost like uh, got into this really bad accident something of that sort um then uh I would suggest like just be aware that does happen it's more towards also the beginning but it's also a leading um moment that is part of the drama so which um it's it's pretty much talked about within the drama a few, few times but it's not like every episode is talked about but it's a main part in the how the drama is played um another one um if you're a person i know actually i guess well i'll just say anyway since i almost brought it up 
um if you're a person that if you're a person who has trust issues based on like certain issues um that you have in your past life like if somebody um you worked with and you trusted them and they basically backstabbed you that does happen i don't know if i really should consider that a trigger but uh, i don't know how bad um your situation was depending in relation to that so i'm just gonna list that one anyways just in case um but i think that might be i think that's all the triggers um i hope i didn't miss any yeah i don't think i missed any or anything so so moving on to my score i really like this drama but the score on vicky is a 9.5 and i will have to i'm gonna give it like an 8.7 mainly because there were like certain things that i was just like i wanted to see more i wanted to see more I really wanted to see more and they didn't really play on it to the very end which keeps happening to a lot of dramas where they take too much time uh playing on one thing and not so much of the other thing sorry i just like hit my camera um so and it's really because like i like the drama it was very cute it was very like funny and uh, romantic and stuff so it wasn't really it wasn't really too much of your like cheesy K dramas that they usually see. Like, um, I guess like a lot of times depending on like the actors in there, it depends on like what their version of PDA might be. So I think the PDA PDA for this drama is a bit um, higher than usual, as in like it's not the usual like peck. It's like like it's not that which i'm glad like k dramas are moving away from that because it gives a weird idea to people like this is what they do <laughs> um but it's it was just like certain things like some of the supporting cast actors and stuff i wish they played more in their parts they were kind of like there because they were like work office workers and stuff which is like fine but like there was like a part towards the end where they're like some like secret like organization thing and they didn't really play onto it towards like a little bit in the middle and then mostly towards the end that's when you find out like what the organization is because like it shows bits and pieces but you're just like what is that like what what organization is this and you don't really know so i'm just glad like i just i just wish it was more like that and that probably made me feel better i you know but other than that like i really like the drama i think it's really good i i like the drama so much to where i because usually i wait until maybe it's like 75 to 80 percent done and then i can watch it i like i can figure out what's going on but like this this time i literally was re-watching episodes because i will watch it before it's fully subbed and so sometimes it would be like zero percent subbed or like 17 or 20 percent subs and i'll watch it and i'll have sort of idea what's going on but then i'll go back and watch it with subtitles to make sure to make sure that i know exactly like what's going on and so like that's how much i really like this drama and that's how much like i can literally go back and rewatch this whole series again and i will can love it again because like there's so dramas like you'll like it but like would you watch it over again probably not and there are some that are like you like it a lot and you'll watch it again so that's what i feel but yeah so that is my crane drawer review and i hope you guys really like this video if not um thank you so much for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on how well you liked my review or any of that um i am in the works of possibly one um soon moving back to korea to teach english so i don't know how soon that will be i'm working on getting a placement right now so that's exciting so it might be some more korea vlogs coming soon maybe not i don't know <laughs> it depends on what my schedule is like when i actually go to korea to teach um but yeah don't forget to subscribe for more videos and check out my other korean drama reviews and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time Annyeong.